Boom. Just about to pop the band on the sheet metal and start sheet metal layout. Wheels are on, axles threaded. Everything's mocked up on the lower half. And there's the sheet metal. As you can see, I wasn't kidding when I said it's going to be red. These two pieces have a uh, plastic film on them to protect them while you're working them. That's why the finish is kind of strange looking. Okay, uh, doing layout here today on the sheet metal. The red sheet metal. This is the front of the oven. This line right here will be the bottom. Running along a rail, that's the back wall, there's the top, and that angle is the uh, pitch of the glass. So I've got a side, the bottom, and the other side is laid out over here, ready to go. And the two sides will be folded up at these two lines right here. So three sides of the thing will be all one piece. Makes for a much tighter seam. And uh, there's the tools of the trade for doing sheet metal layout. Moving along. Okay, this is a Thursday evening. It's a 10 minutes to 8 in the evening. And I've got uh, three of the shell parts fabricated. The outside top. And what I plan to do is write all these dimensions on these pieces and label them all. Try and take pictures of them all. So you'll actually have an actual photograph of the actual piece with the dimensions on the piece. Lines that any sixth grader can understand. Now exactly what you're looking at here is this red piece is the outside shell. It is two sides and the bottom with a little fold along the bottom edges on each side of the bottom the sides stand up to a 90 degree this piece right here is the black the inside shell same thing happens folds on this fold line here so the inside dimensions of this oven this is the first time I've known these are 31 and 5 eighths by 25 and a half and uh, the thing is going to be uh, 31 inches tall, which is not bad. Not bad at all. It's going to be pretty roomy. <clears throat> I uh, determined the length of my glass tonight. This uh, oven's going to have a 24 by 32 inch double pane, weatherized, clear, tippered opening. So I feel pretty comfortable about going ahead and ordering the glass now. Now I know exactly what that dimension is. And the reason that the inside shell is so much smaller is because there's five inches of insulation around the incomplete outside shell. So this white thing is a, essentially a five inch subtraction around every edge. I got the, uh, I shot pictures of this earlier, but I still like to look at it. Got the little wheels all mounted, rods threaded, axles installed, mocked up. Uh, we'll knock it apart one more time and paint it, then start putting it back together. Still need to find a handlebar to go across here. I'm trying to find something other than just a square piece of steel. Anybody got any ideas? Let me know. Give us some doggy love. Give us some doggy love, love, love. Give us some doggy love.